Oh, baby. It is time for Fitness Roy. I've been looking forward to this for a while now. And this is going to kind of be a documented starting point for my fitness journey that you guys can observe. Obviously, I'm not huge or anything. I don't claim to be. But in my first year and three months, we've made some good progress. So I figured, why not just let y'all observe the journey instead of showing you guys kind of like the end result, like when I'm shredded and then starting it then. Because I mean, that is, that is the goal. But especially given that I have the gaming background, most of y'all probably aren't already huge anyway. So might as well start as we're trying to get there together. You know what I'm saying? In this vlog, we got to work out at the Bucked Up Gym. And in case y'all don't know what Bucked Up is, it's an incredible pre-workout that I use daily. <laughs> So being able to work out at that gym meant so much to me, and I really appreciate the SSG guys for hooking it up. Be sure to be following that Instagram as that's where I'll be posting some of the progress pics, especially as I enter bulking season. This is the type of body that you want to get. I just got my numbers here. What's this? This is kind of like a body report card for the for one of those like in-body machines. And although it says I'm 8.4% body fat... I don't believe that because I don't have defined abs yet. But the main takeaway I took from this was that I'm roughly burning 1,900 to 2,000 calories simply by existing. So that on top of my two to three workouts per day, six days a week, I need to be eating way more food just to maintain what I'm at, let alone even more if I wanted to get bigger. And the goal is to get bigger. Now, since this is the beginning of the documentation process, it's probably smart to acknowledge the elephant in the room. My leg. I swear. Every time I include a picture of my leg in anything I do on, on the internet, there's always that one guy that's just like, do you hit legs? Man skips leg day. That's hurtful. Because I don't. That's the problem. Now, I did neglect it for a while, okay? We'll get to that in a minute. But honestly, I'm content with my calf. I feel like there's enough substance there. I understand your concerns about my quads though, okay? I neglected leg day for a while. And then I realized I wanted to burn body fat. And so we took it a lot more serious. That being said, all the pump pictures I post online are not of leg day. So I think it's just a tad unfair to say, did he skip leg day when all the blood is rushing through my tricep? I'm really not pressed over it though. I just can't wait for the day for someone to compliment my legs and I'll be like, dang bro, I freaking made it. The real reason I neglected leg day for so long is because my body is in fact broken. Which brings us to the fun game mode. What hurts on Roy's body? Over here, you've seen I've torn my left leg and a partial tear to my rotator cuff also on the left side. Moving on down, you'll notice that both wrists are indeed broken from a capture the flag incident. And then if you move a little bit down the spine at the very end, you'll notice that the, the tailbone is broken from, from ultimate frisbee. All of these injuries combined have resulted in chronic back pain. Oh my back! Preventing me from learning how to squat correctly. So when you guys ask, yo, Roy, what you squat and what you deadlift and just know it's zero. <laughs> It's a big fat zero. And as of right now, I have been trying to squat again, but I struggle to keep the bar on my shoulders because this position right here, anything that involves my hands being behind my head, it's almost like my shoulders just gonna pop out. And yeah, because the way we tore the labrum was we were doing, uh, what was I doing? I was doing skull crushers behind my head and this thing just popped out. Now I really don't use these as excuses because I still work through them. I still get in the gym. I still do like, you know, a thousand other things. But as far as like the traditional back squat or deadlift, I don't, I don't, I don't do it. Now this is part two of the vlog to Salt Lake City. So it makes sense to continue the journey when we visited Bucked Up. Ah, we made it. What up, baby? Wow, as you see, we're at Bucked Up. Yeah, no sh Sherlock. Look at little Cole, dude. Zoom in on that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. So are you the, the big gamer? Talent, sure. Are you? You're the talent? Yeah, he's a talent. Well, nice to meet you. So Bucked Up has several intensities of pre-workout. It starts with Bucked Up and then moves up into the extra caffeinated like Woke AF. They didn't realize I had already been on Woke for a full month. You gotta start with Bucked Up. Yeah. Like the woke AF. He went like fucked up. Crack cocaine. <laughs> and now he's on woke. You already hitting woke? Yeah, we are. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we started with it. We worked in like, I have I've maybe used woke twice in my life. Uh, and I I want to Dude, I'm, I'm like, on it every day now. Are you? Yeah. <laughs> I just, I just, like you'll push it harder, you'll, you'll be hitting PRs, it'll be good. And I'm like I take it at like seven o'clock at night. For workouts after work. And he's and wild. sleep? He's wild. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like productive till like 2 a.m. and then I'm, I'm out. Yeah, yeah exactly. but that's, what, that's <laughs> the time you go to sleep. <laughs> like, bro, I would never be able to sleep. Not only did they push hundreds of thousands of cans through this facility, but they also ran a super sick merch store, which I'm dying to cop more of. You say that you take fucked up now? Uh, let's see. Oh, okay, so what that, that's the stuff I went through like way too fast because I love that. <laughs> um, I'm currently 
and then I yeah. Have you ever tried sour gummy? I have not. No. So maybe don't do quite a full scoop of this one. Okay. And then let me do a, a pump. <laughs> dry, a full dry good. scoop too. Let's do it. I'll do a dry, I'll do a dry, I'll do a dry scoop. I'll do the pump you wouldn't want a dry scoop. It's a little uh, gritty. Um, it has a mushroom extract. That let me go grab one real quick. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. I'll give you about this much. Usually it's more, but I'm telling you, you'll feel real good. On that. Awesome. <laughs> You're gonna feel really good. <laughs> he says, You're gonna feel it. And with that, the workout shoot began. I hope my cut off, dude. Afterwards, I had a stream with SSG sponsored by Big Game Energy to get ready for. Okay, so we're setting up for a stream this morning. What? Ah. I just started talking for half a second, dude. Oh my gosh. I haven't tasted this, right? I what thought you said this was gonna be a slushy. Yeah, well, <laughs> cold the mind. I don't think churning water uh, gets it thicker, so. Why would you sniff it? It's giving it a little sour gummer. <sighs> That's fun. I can't. Passion, pineapple, cotton passion. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Juror. Are we ready to record? All right. The stream went fantastic and I wanted to go for a bike ride afterwards. All right, so Jack and I are out for a little uh, bike escapade since these bikes are literally the coolest thing and can go upwards of 30 miles an hour. Ah! You ready? No. You got your crap together? It is so cold! I'm not stopping! I'm not stopping! If they're turning, I die. I'll say that much. Oh gosh. Catch it up! I'm more aerodynamic, baby! Ah. Um, <clears throat> okay, so we've been we've been riding for what, 20 minutes? Maybe 30? Probably. Yeah. It's freezing. Hands gone. I wore shorts, watch cam. He wore that, but <laughs> I'll still wait, you took off the video. Yeah. Okay. Well. I was wearing that, but it's cold out here. For some reason, my Samsung phone makes these funny little GIF edits every time I take a picture, but I kind of like it. Okay, so we ran out into the wild out here because the freaking sunset is beautiful, but I can't precisely capture it the way I kind of wanted to. There are cars coming down this road. I don't care. Anyway, just know it would be beautiful, but for some reason I can't mess with my phone settings to make it look really, really good. So this is as good as we're going to get. Go get it, man. Thank y'all very much for watching. It truly means the world to me to have anyone willing to watch these types of videos. It's what I'm most passionate about and working out has become just a insane hobby for me to pursue and to progress myself. Let me know if you guys have any questions about injuries, fitness, working out. I'd be happy to answer them. I am more likely to answer a tweet though. So if you do at me on there, I'm probably more likely to respond and hear in the comments, but try them both. I love you guys. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see y'all in the next one.